I've been wearing my Lono barefoot shoes for three months. How have they been holding up? Are they still any good? Let's talk about it. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is the fact that they are white. They pick up dirt quite easily. You can see here that they started to go a bit black just from general wear and use around the house and outside. And I've got a bit of a stain here. I haven't machine washed these. So this is just the dirt that's accumulated over the past three months. There's this big black stain there. The bottom of the shoe has gone quite yellow over time. But the thing is, you don't really see this part of the shoe when you're out and about. The top bit, I'd say for the most part, it still looks quite white. But the fact that they are white shoes means they will pick up dirt quite easily. So what about actual wear and tear and use? How has it been wearing these for the past three months? Well, I've actually been slowly wearing these more and more as my go-to shoe because I actually just really like white shoes. And I, this is my first ever pair of white shoes. And I just find that when I'm putting on my clothes and I'm going to go out and I look at my shoes and I think, what should I put on? I tend to go with these shoes more often than not now because they just seem to go with most of the clothes that I, I like to wear. And I, I like having white shoes. Laces wise, I've only done this lace up once when I first put them on and I just slipped them on and off. And I found that they have been tight enough for me, but I have always been like that. I like to do my laces once and then just slip the shoe on and off. Let's talk about the width because I get a lot of comments on both my Lono video and my Vivo shoe video, and that's talking about the toe box. So let's actually just compare these to my Vivo since I have them right here. For the most part, I have found that these shoes have pretty much the same toe box. My toe does rub against the side very slightly, my little toe. If I push, you'll see my toe sort of like do this. See a little bulge appears there. So it is up against there, but I do feel like I have enough room when I'm in these Lono shoes. And what I've been running in them every week. I've been, these have been my go-to running shoes. I absolutely love these shoes for running. And I have tried running, so I've been running 5Ks, and I have tried running a couple of 5Ks in my Vivos. And while these feel like great shoes, I have found that these shoes just feel better for running. And I think that's because the sole has a bit more cushioning. On the bottom of the shoe, they have these little uh, triangles. And I feel for some reason that these give me a little bit of bounce. And I can see, let's just talk about wear and tear while we're here. Let's move this out of the way. Some of the grips have actually worn down slightly. I'll bring that close to the camera. So you can see there, the grips have been starting to wear down. And this is after three months of use. So if I had these shoes for like a year, this might be pretty worn down. But at the minute, I've rubbed them together, they still feel very grippy. These front and back grips, these, these grips here and here, I found them completely useless. I haven't found any use out of those grips whatsoever. But these grips, I've been feeling very good. And overall, when I look in the sole, there's no wear and tear from where my toes are actually pressuring against it. And I'm just going to look at the, the Vivo. I've had these for about a year and a half and there's very, very minor wear where my big toe hits the sole. So far, these shoes have not had any. So in terms of build quality, I must say the Vivos feel like they're built to last. They just feel robust and look at the wear and tear of this. So I've had these for about a year and a half. I have run in these and look at the difference of the sole there. You can see that the Vivo has had way less wear and tear compared to the Lono, like some of the grips look almost flat, whereas you can see that there is some wear and tear just here on the Vivo, which is the same area that the Lonos are getting wear and tear. But they have held up pretty well. And Vivos, they do feel built to last. These shoes, a lot of people's worries with these shoes is that the fact that they've got this thing called bio-grade tech. So what Lono is saying is that if you were to bury these shoes, you're done with them, you discard them, you bury them. Three years later, they're completely gone. They haven't been dissolving on my feet. So these shoes have lasted quite well. Lono says that once they're in the ground, it's the enzymes in the ground and the bacteria that start to break it down. And that does not happen when you're wearing them. So I'm really pleased to say that for the most part, other than this slight bit of wear and tear on the bottom, that these shoes have not started dissolving on my feet. 
So why have I decided to wear these more often than my Vivos, which I still hold in high regard. I absolutely adore these shoes. Like I said, I've just found that these shoes, I love that they're white and I just really love chucking them on. They go with a lot of my clothes. <laughs> I'm not much of a fashion person, but I have found that I love white shoes and I'm able to just put them on and they seem to just go with most things. But it's not just that. It's also when I have been for a run, these shoes do have slightly more cushioning and when my feet are fatigued, say I've been out for a 5k and my muscles in my feet are a bit tired, the idea of putting these on sometimes feels a bit fatiguing in a way because there's pretty much no cushioning in these. And while I do love that aspect of them, sometimes I do want a bit of cushioning when my feet are feeling tired and these are a good in-between. So when if you have tired feet and you still want to wear barefoot shoes, I do think that these are a great choice. And one thing that I do really like about these shoes is you see this little notch here. So when you bend your toes, it naturally bends there. So you're not getting a break point there. I've got older shoes, older skateboarding shoes that actually have like broken in this section from this. But when you're jumping, you see that it's quite a lot of extreme bend there. Luckily, the Vivos, they don't seem to have that problem. They bend it in the fabric here, you see. So they haven't had that problem yet, but I like that Lono have had that forethought to actually put a little notch there so that's not going to be an issue going forward. So wearing these shoes into the future, I definitely will keep wearing them. I absolutely love these shoes, and I really think that these shoes are worth picking up. They're quite cheap, and if you do want a discount on these shoes, I do have a code for you and that's down in the description and you can pick up a pair of Lonos and you'll be supporting me through doing that. I get a small commission whenever anyone makes a purchase so that's fantastic. You'll be supporting the channel and you pick yourself up a nice pair of Lono Barefoot shoes. Thank you so much for watching this video. I just wanted to give you a little three month update on how I'm getting on with these shoes because uh, I was skeptical at first. I thought nothing's ever going to replace these Vivo shoes because I love them so much. But it turns out that they have really disrupted that and I do wear them. So I'll see you in the next video.